All right, last but not least, objective three. So now we're going to use a normal approximation to the binomial distribution to calculate probabilities. So it says, example three, is it fun to shop anywhere? Sample surveys show that fewer people enjoy shopping than in the past. A survey asked the nationwide random sample of 2,500 adults if they agreed or disagreed with the statement. I like buying new clothes, but shopping is often frustrating and time consuming. Suppose that 60% of all U.S. residents would say agree if asked the same question. Calculate the probability that at least 1,520 members of the sample would say agree. So let's do a couple things before we get into this, you know, the normal distribution. So uh, first, let's go ahead and find our mean and our standard deviation. Okay, so to do that, we need our n value. Uh, I want to use blue. I like blue better. N value and our p value. So n is your sample size. So random sample of 2,500 adults. P is your proportion. It's the population value, 60%. So let's find our mean. So our mu sub x is going to be n times p, n times p. I'm not going to leave this screen to do that. So 2,500 times 0. 0.6, that's 1,500. And that would be, you know, U.S. adults who would agree. And then our sigma sub x is going to be uh, inside a square root, 2,500 times 0. 0.60 times 1 minus 0. 0.60. And typically I round to three decimals. So let's see if I hold true there. Um, that's like your default. So 2,500 times 0. 0.60 times 1 minus 0. 0.60. I got 24.4948. So 24.4948. Uh, that 8 is going to round the 4 up to a 5. So let's say 24.495. So here's our mean. Here's our standard deviation. Okay. Uh, now... We need to determine if this is going to be approximately normal. And to do that, we're going to use the large counts condition. So this is basically examples one and two. So the large counts condition say take n times p. Well, what's nice about this is that you already did that up here when you found mu. That's going to be 1,500. 1,500 is definitely at least 10. And then you'll take n times 1 minus p. Well, remember what I said, you can use your calculator or you can say that, okay, if this is 1,500, what's left over from your 2,500? That'd be 1,000. That's also at least 10. So because they're both at least 10, this can be approximately normally distributed. So now what does all this mean? Well, now this means we need to go about it like sections 5, 5, 5, 6, 5, 7. We need to use a normal distribution to answer our probability question. We're going to do that on the next screen. So now it says, calculate the probability that at least 1,520 members would say yes. We need to find the probability, and we'll let x be the random variable. They didn't define it. Is at least 1,520. So what does at least mean? Well, 1,520 is the smallest, but you can be bigger. That's greater than or equal to 1,520. We want to figure out what that probability is. So the first thing we do is we have to calculate the Z value because we only use a standard normal distribution on our probability applet. So the Z value or Z score equation is the value minus the mean. And our mean was our N times P, 1500, divided by our standard deviation. And our standard deviation was 24. 0.495. And I'm going to go ahead and go on to my uh, uh, Desmos graphing calculator and type this in. I am going to uh, take a picture real fast because that's some, the bottom number is a weird number. Okay, so I'll leave this screen here. I'll go to a graphing calculator, press the fraction button. So I'm doing 1520 minus 1500 over 24.495. When I do that, that's what I get. And we're going to round that to three decimals. Our Z scores are always three decimals. So the four leaves the six. So the six that we're rounding to, so the four leaves the six alone. So your Z value is 0 0.816. Okay.
So when I come back into uh, my, when I come back into the notes here, I'm going to change my probability of x into probability of z is greater than or equal to, and our value was 0 0.8, was it 8.16? Uh, yes. And now it's time to use our standard normal distribution. So again, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of recap everything you need to show on your, um, edge elastic, because there's a lot for these problems. They're worth points, so you have to make sure you show all your work, okay? So let's go check this one out in the probability stats applet. So I'm here, statistical applets, probability. This was a normal distribution, that's great for us. We are calculating area, our mean is always zero and one, and standard deviation is one, and we're gonna calculate the area, and now we're going at least, so that's to the right of a value, and our Z value is 0.816. And when I type that in there, I get a probability of 0 0.2073. So what you're gonna do is you're going to include that probability, and you're gonna take a picture of this. So I'll take a picture of the uh, normal distribution, the standard normal distribution. So I got that picture. I'm going to copy it and paste it into my edge elastic. Uh, 2073 is my probability. So when I come back here, so to answer my question, the probability, oh, sorry, the probability that Z was greater than or equal to 0 0.816 was equal to 0 0.2073, 20, 73. And again, that's about 20, 21%-ish. And then I will, uh, give me one second, copy and paste that graph here. I think so. Yep. And there you go. And just make sure that's included in as well. And again, your answer is your answer is 0 0.2073. That's the real answer. Point, uh, point two zero seven three. So, what do you all have to include on a problem like this? You have to include the mean, the standard deviation, the large counts condition, your probability statement, your z value, and the actual p value with the standard normal distribution. So all of this must be included in the box. You can write it down in layman's terms, use numbers, you can show work, not show work. I just need all of those things listed in the box and you'll get all of your credit. So use the homework uh, as an ability to, to, to really practice this. Okay. All right. Great. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, carry on and uh, get the homework done.